Okay, guess the song. Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm gonna be doing, finally, my end of the year 2023 collection photo card, whoa, photo card collection tour video. I do wanna put it out there. I know it's the end of January. I think this video is going up. Let's see, let's ask Mark. This video is gonna be going up probably the 21st. I'm filming this on the 15th, by the way. Happy Monday. But that means that I'm 21 days late from 2023. So does this even count as an end of the year 2023 video? I don't know, but it's it's mine. I haven't done one of these since last January. I know most um, collection YouTubers, they do one in January and then one in the summer. So they have like an update every six months. But this past summer, I thought my collection hadn't grown that much. So I was like, there's no point in me doing another video. So this is gonna be a one year update instead of a six month update, like most people's are, I feel like. But I think literally so much has changed in the past year. I think I've dropped like four collections. I've added like 17, <laughs> not the group, like 17 number like of different collections. You know what I mean? This is gonna be a long video. I'm kind of scared of how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna try my best to not drag it out. Here's my drink of choice for the day. I have an Izzy. No cherry Coke today, we're out. We're fresh out of cherry coke, so I'm gonna go in order from like smallest collections to biggest collections, so enough with the long intro, let's just get started. First we have this, oh, <laughs> one more thing before we start. If you have questions about where I get any of my supplies, any of my binders, sleeves, pages, anything like that, everything is linked in my card in the description. Um, and I say everything, but most things are. If there's something that's not linked in my card and you want to know where it is, then feel free to ask me. But before you ask me where something is, double check my card, make sure it's not there first. Okay, this is my miscellaneous A5 binder. This has all of my photo cards that I don't have collections for, but I do want to keep, whether for nostalgia's sake or I just like the photo card or it's a group that I want to collect, but I can't commit to a full collection. In my last year's video, this was in a big A4 binder, but I have since moved it into an A5 binder because it all fits in here, and I think it's cute. So um, first we have this Jin butter card. Um, BTS was my first ever boy group that I liked, and Jin was my bias, so for nostalgia's sake, and I think he's cute in this photo card, I won't even lie, I do have this BTS card. Um, I have some in Hypen cards. I used to collect Jake back in the way, way olden days. I don't know <laughs> if anyone here is going to remember that, but I have four cards that I still like a lot. I still love Jake. I just, I can't get into and hype and like that anymore. And then I have some Everglow cards. These are all my G friend cards. Um, I almost have two full pages of G friend. Can you believe it? This is a Got the Beat card, Taeyeon, my high key cards. These are my Itzy cards. I did um, drop my Leah collection. I don't know if I've ever even talked about it. No, I definitely have. Um, but I dropped my Leah collection. I kept my three favorite cards um, and then two other cards that I also just really liked. Um, I have this IU card, um, some Joe Yuri cards. I also want to credit my friend Des for the whole pink sleeves thing because her collections are in A5 binders with pink sleeves and I thought it looked so cute that I copied her. And now this Miss Collection binder is all in pink sleeves. I think it's cute. And these are my Kepler cards. I used to collect Kepler, Youngin, and I just kept one card from each of the eras that I had completed. I have one Purple Kiss card. I used to love Purple Kiss. Uh, these are my 17 cards. Also, something you might notice is some of these cards are sleeved in heart sleeves. If something is in a- fuck me. If something's in a heart sleeve, it means that this card was gifted to me. So for example, this card was given to me by my friend Anya. So thanks, Anya. I have a bunch of 17 cards. These are from like a billion different albums, but my bias in 17 is DK. Um, and I also like Joshua. So I try to like mostly keep the cards from those two, but I have like a bunch of random members. Um, I have my TXT cards. Again, my bias is Bumgyu. And I also like basically double bias in Yeonjun, so I like to keep his cards too. Um, and then I have Viviz. Um, and for Viviz, I just keep my pulls. But my bias in Viviz is I'm double biased in Una and Shinbi. And funnily enough, I literally only ever pull <laughs> Una and Shinbi. I have this one Umji that was given to me, but besides that, all of my photo <laughs> cards are my biases. So I would say I'm pretty lucky. Um, these are all the units from the albums. These are my two weekly cards, and then my Yuju cards from her solo album. 
Because Without You was song of 2023. Wait, 2024? 2023. 2023. It came out last year. <laughs> Why did I say 2024? Okay, anyway, so that is this binder. One binder down, 12 more to go. Next is my Misk Girl Group Collection binder. So I have two kind of random Girl Group Collections in here. First, I have my 50-50 collection. And actually, at the very beginning of 2023, last year, I started my OT4 50-50 collection. And then, as I'm sure you may know, a lot of things have happened to these girls since then. And because of that, I have downsized my OT4 collection. It is now just Shio, but I have actually kept a lot of OT4 sets. I'll show that in a second. So this is Shio's cards for the 50. I'm still missing these two. I really wanna catch up on this collection so I can just consider it done, which is kind of sad to say, but I don't think that Shio's gonna be doing anything in the K-pop industry, at least anytime soon. She's pretty much blacklisted which is really sad to say but i do love her so much and i want to have her collection at least finished i also have the id sets ot4 i collected these ot4 just because <laughs> it was an extra card and might as well the cards are kind of easy to get um and then for cupid again i have all these shio cards still missing this one um but i collected two ot4 sets for the 50 kind of like as a, an homage to the ot4 collection that i started at the beginning of the year last year it's such a shame these cards are so cute i just wish that everything that happened didn't have to happen i wish attract wasn't a stupid ass company i think People need to stop taking pages out of Blockberry Creative's books because we can all see how mistreating your idols <laughs> has turned out for them. There's my very small, almost complete 50-50 collection. Next collection I have in here is my Elle's Up collection. I don't have a cover for it yet because I need to like buy an extra album and like cut it up and stuff. But for Elle's Up, I do collect Huiso. I loved Queen and Puzzle and I loved Huiso. She was my number one pick. So obviously when they debuted, I had to pick her up. Um, and apparently they're gonna have another comeback sometime soon, which I'm kind of excited for. I need to finish the collection. Um, this is what I have for all her queen cards, just her two album cards. I need to get her platform and her unit. And then for the puzzle version, I'm missing her other selfie card and then her platform card. And I'm hoping, um, for their next comeback, they kind of keep it <laughs> to like a low amount of cards. I don't think I can handle any more than eight. Even eight is kind of too much, especially because, um, both of the collections in here are like low priority. For me so i don't really want to have to like stress about the cards that are in here um this is my extra cards page i have these two k-town for you pops for my bias and my bias wrecker and then this is a unit that i pulled from my two bias wreckers so i had to keep it and then maybe i'll find a card to put here who knows but that's my tiny little l's up collection not a whole lot going on in this binder but like i said these are like basically my low low prio collections this next collection is a somewhat new collection this is my triple s collection i just picked up this collection and then i've already changed it like two times over so <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard to explain what's going on in my triple s binder basically the basics are i collect all of jiu's cards because jiu is my old bias in triple s i plan to eventually collect my top six or eight or ten whatever a certain amount of biases in this group so i have a lot of extra cards from members that might be in that future collection which is why there's like random ass cards everywhere also, I collect OT4, Crystallize, and OTA Evolution. So that's kind of like a lot to remember, but that's like the basis of my Triple S collection. So to begin, this is the assemble page. So like I said, I collect Geo. So these are where Geo's cards are going to go. And then I just have these two extra Yubin and Kaede cards here because they're really cute. And I think Yubin might be in my, you know, official top eight or whatever. Um, when I eventually collect that. So these two cards fill up the page, kind of nice. And then we get right into the Triple S Crystallize Aesthetic Collection. I am collecting OT4, but I have um, 210 and then 211. And then this is 213 and two, nope, 212 and then 213. <laughs> and I only need one more Taeyeon to finish this whole page. So that's Crystallize. And as of right now, I'm not collecting anything for Levolution because G is not in Levolution, um, but I am collecting OT8 Evolution. So this is 207. Um, I have them in S order. Everything's in S order. It's kind of like Luna. I don't do things in age order, just like member order. So um, this is 208. I have two of the cards. Um, I have this Make Star like two cut film strip pob set and these are from crystallize so technically they should go like in my crystallize section but it just worked out the best if they were on the back here and then like i said i have a bunch of like extra random cards so i have two extra yubins this is from acid angels um, and these two are from levolution i have yubin and sohyun 
This is a random Jamin Seasons Greetings card that is kind of here mostly as a joke, but I feel like now I can never take him out because I've committed to it. He's committed to being here. Um, and then I just have these two Jiu lenticulars from Assemble. I don't know which way they lenticular. Hopefully you see. So yeah, that is my Triple S collection. Last A5 binder for now, because I'm going to be coming back to the A5 binders in a second. But this last A5 binder is my Fromis 9 binder. So this time last year, I was collecting Fromis, but it was um, just one member in my Bathe Girl Group A4. Um, but this past year, I think it was over the summer, I decided to pick up a second member um, because I had a bias change. My bias is no longer Sodom, it is Jihan. But instead of dropping Sodom um, and just switching to Jihan, I wanted to collect both because I still love both of them. So I am now collecting two members of Fromis. And this uh, A5 binder from Mondu Deco was so cute and so perfect. So I was like, this is going to work out really well for me. <laughs> to begin, I have, <laughs> this is the page for the two heart cards. As you can see, not too much progress here. These cards are um, pretty hard to get. But I do have today. Is this today? Yes. I have today finished, which are honestly, in my opinion, cuter than the to heart cards. So it's fine. This is from Nine. I have Sodom done, but I have nothing for Jihan. That's going to be like a common theme that I feel like you're going to see. Because when I picked up Jihan, I had basically all of Sodom's cards already finished. So there's going to be a lot of uh, <laughs> just Sodom progress and not a lot of Jihan. Um, this is Fun Factory. These are the fun versions. And then the factory version, I actually have uh, one Jihan, so that's nice. And then this is My Little Society. I have, weirdly enough, Jihan finished before I have Sarom done, but I think we all know my qualms with this Sarom set. Um, this is the My Society version of My Little Society. And then the um, mini cards for this album, which you would think would be really easy for me to find Jihan. I just haven't yet. Um, this is nine-way ticket i just need one more jihan for this page and then one more jihan for this page also for talk and talk um i'm actually surprised because talk and talk is a hard uh, album overall so i thought it was gonna be a long time before i ever got a jihan card but i actually got this talk and talk orange outfit jihan card um which goes on this page so this page is actually finished this is um the midnight guest jewel case card um and then I think besides the mini cards, everything else for Midnight Guest is done. So this is the before midnight version and the after midnight version. And then, like I said, the mini cards don't count. And then from our memento box, um, this is when they started going crazy on photo cards. They had three different versions, um, two cards per version, then like a Weavers version and a jewel case. So, so this is the Wish version. Uh, I still need one Jihan. Um, this is the Dream version. <laughs> still need one Jihan. But I'm finished with the, I don't even remember what version this is called. The pink version. Wait, does it say on the back? It doesn't. The pink version. Um, and then this is the jewel case card. This is the Weverse QR card. And then these are the like Weverse photo cards. Now, their most recent album, Unlock My World, they took what they did for from our memento box and then doubled it. <laughs> so they had three different versions and each version has four photo cards per member. So this is the reality version. Still need all of Jihan's. Actually, I have these two. I have her mini card and then one of her reality cards. So this page is done. And then the Imagine version. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> my Unlock My World Progress is really sad. Wow, I didn't even know I had an empty page in here. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But here's the Not Yet version, which is my favorite version because it's pink and I love pink, but oh well. And then these are the Jewel Case cards. These are the Weaver's QR cards, obviously. And then the other Weaver. Well, <laughs> this doesn't go here. Uh, sorry about that. These are the other Weavers cards. And then this is my extra, like, POB page for Firmus 9. For their last two eras, I have a POB set. These are Unlock My World. I think they're K-Town. And then this is Music Korea for from our Memento Box. And then this is a Jihan from, from our Memento Box. Uh, it's a Weaver Shop POB, but I don't have Sodom. So for now, I just have her on the back. So that is everything that I have for from our Memento Box. Nope, for <laughs> from our... Oh my god! For Fromis 9, geez. And once Pletus can get their heads out of their asses and actually pay attention to Fromis 9, maybe we'll get a comeback soon. Not that I actually want to come back soon because I'm so behind on Unlock My World. I just want new Fromis music because Unlock My World was album of the year for me for 2023. So things can only go up from there. Next, we can do girl groups. This is my girl group binder, my girl group A5. This has basically every other girl group that we haven't already gone through or that's not like an old alt group they all fit in this 
big A5 here. Whoa, there's one, two, three, four, five, six girl group collections in here. That's crazy. You know what's kind of crazy? Five of the six collections that are in here? Yeah, five out of the six collections that are in here were not in my last video. Not my last video, my last end of the year collection video. Picked up a lot of new groups. Okay, the first collection we have in here, I haven't made a cover for yet, obviously. This is my Red Velvet Joy collection. I just picked this collection up like a month ago, so I don't have a whole lot of progress in here. But Joy used to be one of those collections that I would um, keep in like my mini bias binder back when I had one of those. And I would just keep like whatever pulls of her I had. And then I finally bit the bullet and picked up an entire like full collection. So like I said, there's not much to look at, but this is Ice Cream Cake Through the Perfect Velvet. I have two cards for this page. Um, I have a Summer Magic card, I think. And this is the Rubber Festival Day One Guidebook version card. Um, I have one card for this page. This is a finale. Maybe this is the guidebook version card. I don't know, but it's a finale card. And then this page has Hello and uh, Queendom. This is Feel My Rhythm and Birthday. And then for Chill Kill, they went crazy and did a whole nine pocket page worth of photo cards for one member. I won't complain too much because at least it's not like 10 cards per member because then that would be really annoying to have to like figure out how to lay out. But um yeah, this is what I have for Chill Kill so far, and then I am going to be collecting both of the bag version OT5 sets. Um, and then this is my extra card page. So um, these three are cards from Not My Bias <laughs> that I just couldn't get rid of. I have these two Irene's and this Sulky, um, and then these two are just extra Joy cards that I have that aren't technically album cards, or they're not album cards for like what I want to collect. That's like a common theme that you'll see that I'll just have like a page at the back of all my collections with like really random cards. So yeah, that's my Red Velvet collection. Um, another new collection that wasn't in my video last year, um, but I did talk about it in my video last year, is this WJSN collection. So I did pick up Unso from WJSN. And you know what? Horrible timing for me to pick this collection up too, because as soon as I picked them up, they haven't had to come back in like two years and people keep making up disbandment rumors about them i don't believe i don't give in to all the hate i have faith in starship i have no faith in starship but i don't really want to talk about it i'm trying to focus on the happy right now this is my own soul collection so um surprisingly i have like pretty decent progress i guess for the like i guess one year that i've been collecting her cards um this is their debut all the way through dream your dream so i have six of the Ryan cards on this page and then this is a page that's been giving me trouble. It's Would You Please um, and For The Summer. I think just these two albums specifically have been like kind of hard for me to find cards for, but I'm not giving up. My goal for 2024 is to, I don't want to say finish because I have faith that they will have a comeback, but catch up on my WJSN collection. That's going to be my goal <laughs> for 2024. Um, this is my As You Wish slash Neverland page. I just need this last Neverland card to finish. I also have this uh, Dawan and Luda unit because I pulled this right after the news of them not resetting with Starship was announced. And this was going to be like my little shrine for these two, especially because Dawan's one of my biases. Because I assumed that the other girls resigning meant that they would have a comeback whether it be OT10 or OT8, whatever. I wanted to have a little, you know, a dedicated spot for these two girls. But yeah, so that's Neverland. This is Unnatural, again, just missing one. And then this is the Black Easy, or My Attitude. And then their last comeback was Sequence. <laughs> and I did collect OT4 for Sequence. I actually collected OT4 for Sequence before I even like picked up Unso for like everything else. Um, but my top four in WJSN is Exe, Sola, Dawan, and Unso. So I have almost all of the cards for those four members for sequence. I have this version and this version. I don't know if these versions have names. I think they do. Like take one and take two or scene one, scene two, something like that. The only card I'm still missing is the Sola Jewel case. I don't know why it's so hard to find. Finding the other three were like not that hard, but for some reason Sola specifically is like impossible. I did find a trade for this card, and I sent out my half, and then they just never responded to me. So I think I got scammed, which is so annoying, because um, I need this card so bad. But And also, Sola is about to have a solo debut, and I think I'm not going to like collect it fully. Well, 
we'll see how many cards there are but my plan for right now is to just buy like a copy and keep my polls and so i might have like a solo page back here for like my polls for her album we'll see next is my Dreamcatcher album i don't want you to look at the cover this is my least favorite cover i've ever made but i just have yet to go through and make a new one so don't even look at this monstrosity this is my Dreamcatcher collection for Dreamcatcher, i do collect yuhyun I don't collect her fully because back collecting Dreamcatcher albums or photo cards is like really hard. Um, most of them are out of print um, and super hard to find. I also don't collect limited versions of like even current albums. I don't bother with that. It's too much. It's too much work, so I don't bother with it. And so my collection starts at Road to Utopia. I have all of her standard album cards from Road to Utopia forward. Well, I don't have them, but that's what I'm collecting. Um, so this is Road to Utopia. Just missing one selfie to finish this album. This is Summer Holiday. I do have this... Octopus Yukyeon. One thing you'll notice is that if a spot has a pink sleeve, it means that I have the card. I just like to display like some of my favorite cards around my room or around my desk. So if it has a pink sleeve, it means I have it, just not in the binder at that particular moment. But for summer holiday, I'm only missing her beach concept card. And then this is Apocalypse from us. Or no. Save us. They only had four cards for that album, so it was pretty easy. Um, this is Apocalypse from us. And this is when they started doing platform version albums, and I decided to include those in my collection. I don't click limited still, but I do click platform albums. Um, luckily, it all fits on a nine pocket page, which is nice. Just missing her two hard cards, her like animal filter cards, but whatever. And then this is Apocalypse Follow Us, which should be easy. I don't know why it's taking me so long to finish this album. Um, and they've actually had another comeback since then, which should go- Oh, actually, this is my OT7 set for Apocalypse. From us this came with the platform version i think but um this should be where versus is but i haven't set up for that album yet because i still don't know what i'm collecting because there's actually so many cards this time for this era that it's giving me a headache every time i try to look at it and figure out what i want to collect so i still haven't set up for it i have none of the cards for it anything like that which is not good because i should get on that before it becomes a hard album but yeah that's all of my album cards for Yukyeon. I do have quite a bit of like non-album cards though. I'm not gonna go through what like each and every one of these is because that would take too long but it's basically just like various like photo books, season greetings, merch drops. If you have a certain card um, and this goes for any of my collections, if there's a certain card that I don't talk about specifically and you want to know what it is or where it's from, I'll leave a comment with a timestamp and I will try my best to let you know where that card is from. So um, I also have this one card. This is uh, this is the start of another non-album page, but I just ha have no other non-album cards to fill this page up with. And then this is my extra album cards page for people who aren't my bias, but I like these cards so much that I wanted to keep them, so I have these six here. And then the one and only collection <laughs> that was in my video last year that is still in this binder is my Stacey Sheehan collection. Um, and in fact, this almost wasn't in my binder because this summer I was having a crisis where I thought I was going to drop Stacy. Um, luckily, I didn't. I think Teen Fresh slash Bubble really pulled things back in for me. I really like that album, so I decided to not drop my Stacy collection. In fact, I almost picked up a second member, but I didn't end up doing that. So... I am collecting my bias, Shein. She's actually my longest running collection out of all of my collections. She was the first person I ever decided to pick up, even before I picked up Twice, because Twice was too intimidating and scary. But at the time of me picking up Stacy, they only had nine cards. So I picked up Stacy. This was my first ever collection. I have her complete up until the most recent era. Um, I have So Bad and Statum, and then this is Stereotype. I do have this card right here. That's where she goes in my Pachaco holder. And then this page is Young Love and then We Need Love. And then this page is Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear is the era that made me think, hmm, maybe I don't love collecting Stacy anymore. I think it's because I wasn't the world's biggest fan of these photo cards. But like I said, Teen Fresh pulled me back in. Um, I only need three more cards to finish and stay up to date with their most current era. I don't collect platform versions for Stacey. It's weird because all of my collections have like different rules. Like for Dreamcatcher, I do collect platform versions, but for Stacey, I don't. It just depends on like what the photo cards are looking like for specific versions. Like a platform version for Stacey was like concept cards and unit cards, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So um, for Teen Fresh, I'm just collecting like the Digipack and like the photo cards or the photo books. Um, and then this is my extra Stacy page. So I have a couple of Shein Pobs and then also some Saiyan cards. Cause like I said, I almost picked up my second bias um, over the summer. And this is 
the person that it would have been. She's the member that I would have added to the collection. I'm glad I didn't pick her up because it would have been too stressful and I probably would have ended up dropping my Stacey collection altogether. But I like having a little homage to her collection down here. So yeah, that is Stacey. Uh, the next new collection I have is my Giselle, my Espa Giselle collection. Again, kind of like Joy, I just picked this collection up so I don't have a whole lot of progress as you can see. Um, but this is going to be Savage once I eventually have cards. Um, this is what I have so far for girls, so I only need two more cards. Um, this is uh, My World. I have <laughs> the easiest cards to get ever, and then her S-Mini, which is her best card, so I won't even complain too much about that. And then this is Drama. I think my plan for 2024 is going to be to try to catch up on Giselle and then have my Espa collection be one of those collections that I just work on as new comebacks come out, like my Stacey collection, for example. Everything is caught up until their most recent comeback. That's my goal for Giselle. And then this last page is like my OT4 set page because I picked, I guess, just two different sets from two different albums that I wanted to collect OT4 for. But the Giselle is actually going to stay like with um, the rest of her cards on these pages. And I'll just have Karina, Winter, and Ning Ning like in rows, if that makes sense. Um, I think I want to do this for um, one set of cards per album. I haven't picked a drama set yet, um, but once I do, then I will like move this spicy trading card set somewhere and have it be girls, my world, drama, and then I'll continue that as they have new eras. The last collection in this binder before we start getting into like Ult of Ult collections is my La Seraphim collection. La Seraphim is another collection that I picked up this past year. This is also the only collection in here that's more than one member. As you can see, I collect Yunjin, Kazuha, and Unche. Um, this is also the only collection in here that I collect Korean as well as Japanese cards for. Everybody else, I just do Korean cards, but I think La Seraphim Japanese cards are very accessible, so I decided to collect them, especially because I think they're cute. So I have almost caught up on this La Seraphim collection. Again, I want this to be a collection that I have caught up until new comebacks come out. Um, I think that would make things easier, especially since I collect three members. I don't want to have to worry about back collecting three times the amount of cards. I guess to start off, I have Fearless Monochrome Bouquet cards. These are like double-sided cards that came with like the Fearless Jewel Case, and I have that finished. I also have the actual album cards finished for Fearless. So Fearless is the only album that I have complete on hand. <laughs> this is the start of Anti-Fragile. The layout is kind of weird because like I have Fearless and Anti-Fragile like on the same page, but it's just how it worked out for these so that I wouldn't have to like put fillers everywhere. But this is the other two versions of the photo books for Anti-Fragile. I'm just missing Yunjin's Frozen Aquamarine card, aka Flower Yunjin. If any of you have her and want to trade or sell to me or anything, please DM me. I want her so bad. That is the only card I need to finish my Korean album collection. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is the start of the compact versions. Like I said, I don't have these on hand, but I should have um, her other two compact cards coming like on the way to me, so hopefully soon. Um, but I have everyone else complete for these compact versions. Um, and these are the Weverse versions. I actually just finished this, surprisingly. It took me forever to finish these Weverse versions, but... Um, and then this is uh, Fearless Japan. So again, I do have this Yunjin. Here she is. But I don't collect units for La Seraphim unless each of my biases has one card with each other, which so far has only been for Japanese releases. Like, they did uh, units for Anti-Fragile, but there wasn't a card with each of my biases together, if you get what I mean, but they did that for Fearless. That's why I collected units for Fearless. Um, and then this is the rest of the Fearless Japan cards. Then this is Unforgiven. I almost have Unforgiven finished. I just have one card missing, but it's on the way. So these are the photo book versions. This is the compact versions. I am just missing this Yunjin, but like I said, it's on the way to me. So this should be finished. And then I have these Weavers cards that I almost was struggling with. Like I was kind of worried for a second that I wouldn't be able to <laughs> finish these, but um, it turned out okay. It turned out okay. I finished them before I even finished the compact version. So, and then this is Unforgiven Japan. Um, for this album, I did decide to keep two OT5 sets for the solo jackets just because I bought them in OT5 sets. So I was like, might as well keep them. And then finally, I just have this tiny little extra card page. This was a pub from Fearless that was given to me, and then I got these three, I think these are K-Town? 
I'm not sure. Um, but these are from Unforgiven, and I just have each of my top three biases. So yeah, that's everything for this binder. Next is Luna. So this is my BBC Luna binder. Everything that they did under BBC is in this binder. I used to keep my Luna plus post Luna all in the same binder together, but then that was kind of growing really fast because I do collect OT12 post BBC. Um, so it wasn't really fitting in the binder that I had it in anymore. So I moved Luna Luna back into their own one inch binder. So this binder is not going to be changing that much since they're not doing activities under BBC anymore. First, we have um, their pre-debut solo page. So um, I don't collect first press anything and I don't collect um, limited anything. So I just have like their solo album cards and then their attendance cards here. This is their unit page because each of them had a unit album with another member. Um, and then Kim Lip also had extra solo cards. So she had an A version and a B version. So her A version cards are on this page, but her B version cards had to go onto the unit page also. So this is kind of like an extra solo page, kind of. <laughs> This is my like OT12 pre-debut solo page. I wanted to collect one card for each of the other members. Um, this is my progress so far. I just have Cherry, Eve, Chu, and Heiju. So not a whole lot of progress, but this is relatively new um, in terms of my Luna collection. So this is uh, their unit stuff. So Love and Live, Love and Evil, and then Mix and Match and Max and Match for Jinsel and Kim Lip. And then this is Plus Plus aka hi hi so their debut um i just need this last hashjin nope hyunjin god i'm getting ahead of myself so finish plus plus and then a bunch of multiply multiply cards <laughs> i'm also missing so um this is hash i really thought i was going to be able to finish hash by the end of the year but i didn't um but this is 12 uh slash 12 o'clock slash midnight whatever you want to call it um I almost have it complete. I think I'm missing like two midnight cards. I think I'm missing like three and cards. So these pages should be theoretically um, almost done. I'm just missing one Jinsel for the A version. Um, the B version is complete. Missing one C version card. And then I'm missing Hashjin. This Hashjin is like a one of a kind copy. So I guess you could say technically I have a Hashjin, but I want like a, you know, you're one of the mill <laughs> normal Hashjin. Um, that people pay thousands of dollars for. So um, this is and. Um, I have the A version complete, the B version complete, the C version complete, and then I'm just missing one D version card um, for Jinsel, and then and will be complete. Um, I have not friends done. I think I had not friends done like a long, long time ago. Um, this is Flip That. Flip That, I have this Jinsel. Here she is. <laughs> I completed, I think it was earlier this year. Like, I don't think she was completed in my last end of the year video. Um, but since then, I have decided to collect Eve as well because I found Eve's set of flip back cards on Instagram. I just wanted to put her cards over to the side over here. So um, I am missing one Eve card and I'm pretty sure you can guess what card that is. But um, besides that one card, which I'll not be named, um, I have all of flip that done. Here's the card. <laughs> that shall not be named. Okay, I'll name it. Coffee Eve. God. But yeah, that's the C version and this is the D version. So everything else is done. Um, and then this is, oh, another extra page. So these are the AR cards, the stickers, and then a K-Town for You pop set for Flip That. <sighs> this is my Japanese cards page. Luminous. I don't even want to talk about Luminous anymore. I'm thinking about just giving up on these cards and calling it a day on their like standard version and the member version. Um, I don't think I want to bother with the limited version and the Orbit Japan version anymore. It's just too much work. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I can't stress about this album. And then the rest is Kim Lip non-album. Again, I'm not going to talk about what each and every single item in here is. I'll just flip through it. And if you have a question about what like certain items are, then you can leave a timestamp um, in the comments and I will try to answer you to the best of my ability. Um, for this page, I also have a Hyunjin and a Jin Soul broke my own rule. I decided I wasn't going to collect Hyunjin or Jinsel for non-album. This is crazy though. I still can't get over this. Can you believe that? Um, and then this is my extra Luna page. So a bunch of extra Luna cards that I have that don't belong in my collection anywhere. Yeah, that's that. That is my entire BBC Luna collection. 
I might be collecting top six for flip that maybe sometime later this year. Look forward to that. Maybe you might see go on and cherry. <laughs> we'll see. So for post BBC groups slash soloists, I have decided to collect OT12. That might change. Like I might just do that for everyone's debut. And then when they have comebacks and stuff, I might downsize to just like my top one or three biases or whatever but for now i am collecting everything that they have done post bbc everything in here is in like debut order so starting off with this is my artemis section um i made this cute little odd eye circle cover i do have odd eye circle complete so this is 207 through 209 and then this is 210 through 212 all of my objects are scanned, so don't worry about <laughs> stealing my um, Como because I already have them, or somebody else has them. <laughs> um, and then this is the ID page and the clear cards. I did go through and like tape all of the IDs down into the sleeves so that they won't like shake around or whatever. And it's turning out to be like way better than it was before. This is my Heejin page. I still need four more objects to complete Heejin, but these are like the pulls that I got and like all the clear cards I have. Luckily, she only had one page's worth of um, album cards. And then this is my Kim Lip non-album or slash pop page, I guess, for Artemis. Um, again, if you're interested to know the specifics of any of these cards, let me know. But these are the two pages that I have. And that's everything that I have for Artemis slash Artemis. Auto Circle and Heejin. Um, this is Lucemble. So again, I'm collecting OT5. I have OT5 complete minus the Ever Music card. So all of the photo book cards are finished for OT5. I just need to make progress on the Ever Music version cards. This is my favorite concept. I love this concept so much. These cards are so beautiful. This is the space version. And then here's the Ever Music cards. So like I said, <laughs> Not a whole lot of progress. I need to definitely work on this. And then these are the QR cards. And then I'm collecting, I'm thinking one pob per era for Hyunjin. So this is the pob that I have for their debut. This is the Aladdin pob. There, I told you it. So you don't even have to comment. <laughs> um, and this is my Chu collection. I did make this cover. I don't think you've seen this yet. So this is my Chu cover. Not in love with it, but it gets the job done. Maybe if she has a comeback, I will try it again. <laughs> but it's hard because her photo books are so tiny. So and have like a lot of space to fill up. Anyway, <laughs> not too much on the cover, the actual photo cards themselves. So I just have like my pulls and stuff from the copies that I got of her album. These are all the wave version cards that I got. And then these are the wind version cards that I got, plus this make star card. So again, kind of like with Lucemble, I need to work on getting these ever music uh, versions. I also have this keychain <laughs> extra card like merch card so <laughs> didn't know what to do with that so I just threw her on the back there but yeah that's what I have for Chu just pulls from her album um, and then hopefully the next thing that's going to be happening is either Artemis debut or like OT5 debut or Eve solo debut I'm excited for both so excited for both so that's all my Luna. I'm pretty sure if you're a boy group stan you've gotten off the video already <laughs> because you figured out that this is not the place to be for boy group stands. I do collect boy groups two in fact but really the only reason i stand one of them is because they were an extension of the main one that i collect um it's kind of hard to explain but this is my nct and rise binder um first things first i have i have some fun stuff over here a little keychain this is my johnny collection this is supposed to have a piece of paper in it but it doesn't because i was gonna make a johnny cover haven't done that yet haven't put the paper back in here. So that's why this is just a clear thingy. Basically, how I collect NCT, I collect my top three biases in NCT, which just so happens to be one member from each of the three NCT units. This year, however, I do want to expand my collections. I might go crazy. I think I want to collect my top three for 127, my top three for Wavy, and then OT7 for Dream because Dream is like my ult boy group um they're my ult nct unit obviously um and i love them so much so just kind of warning you what might come in the future but for now i just collect one member of each unit um this is one to seven i collect johnny um so these are cherry bomb through irreg regular irregular superhuman this is superhuman this is neozone through punch 
Um, oh, by the way, I have him complete up until the last two eras. So I haven't finished fact check, but everything up until then should be finished. This is sticker and then favorite. And then this is two baddies, page one, because they went crazy for two baddies. So this is the first page of two baddies. And then this is the rest of two baddies. And then this is AO. And then this is what I have set up for fact check and also be there for me. It's an ugly page because I was basically just using like whatever random fillers I had left over. Um, and I haven't made any progress on either of these two albums. <laughs> but I plan to, hopefully sometime in the near future. Um, this is my Extra Johnny page. These are two random D-Icon cards. And then this is an AO Apple Music Pop. He's got a tiny little extra page, but... It works. Okay, next is my NCT Dream Collection. I collect Jamin. Jamin is my ult bias in NCT. He's my ult male bias. I love him so much. I collect a little more for NCT Dream, um, and I collect a couple like more non-album things for Jamin specifically. So to start off with, I do collect two OT6 sets um, for my first, and also We Young, because both of these albums Jamin was not able to participate in but I still wanted to have these albums in my binder, so I decided to collect them OT6. This is also a good excuse slash starting place for my eventual OT7 dream collection. So for my first, I have Hechan and Choma, and then We Young, I have Mark and Jeno. Um, and then this is where Jamin actually starts, so I collect all of his cards. Um, I don't collect that stupid crew card. I used to, but I don't anymore. I just, it's too expensive for what the actual card itself looks like. So, but this is we go up through uh, reload. And then this is hot sauce and hello future. I collect Kinos also, by the way. Um, I don't know if you noticed that while I was flipping through my Johnny collection, but album cards and Kinos is all included in this collection. This is glitch mode and then beatbox. Perfect nine pocket page fit. Unlike Candy, which is four cards, but then they had to do 10 billion for ISTJ, so it didn't work out. Um, but for ISTJ, I am collecting my top three, which as you can see is Jamin, obviously, and then uh, Chunla and Jisung. I still haven't finished it. I finished Chunla, but I'm still missing one card for Jamin, and then technically four cards for Jisung, because I'm also missing his unit with mark over here i am clicking the units <laughs> compared to chun la jisung and jamin are like really hard because chun is like super easy which is why i finished him so fast i'm really excited to click ot7 dream so i can kind of like you know <laughs> see in comparison to all the members how super hard and super easy everybody is okay this is my silly little pob page for the most part i have like one pob per era all the way up until istj starting with hot sauce so i have a hot sauce this is glitch mode candy and then this is where istj starts i do have this card right here this is his walmart card i think <laughs> but he's in a little bunny of course he's in a bunny Damon is the bunny um but i have a bunch of other istj cards and then also this card here and then these are magazine like cards that came from the magazine that Chunla and Jamin did together I think they're so cute so yeah that's like again if you have any questions let me know um these are from the season's greetings from this year I decided to keep the OT7 sets obviously so that's what these two are and that's my dream collection as of now kind of a bunch of random stuff in there but I like it I'm proud of it uh, next is my wavy collection. Again, right now I collect one member, but in some time I might expand to three members. So, but for now I just collect Hendry. I have him all caught up until the last era um, on my youth. So I have takeoff through kickback and then this is phantom and then I just need to get his on my youth cards. I have none, <laughs> but I do have an on my youth pop. This is from K-Town um, and this is an SMCU card, but this is his extra cards page. So yeah that was really fast we breezed through henry but he literally has seven cards it feels like um okay and then all of their nctu cards go in this section so that they can be like laid out together you know so this is empathy i just need this jamin dream card this is like one of the two cards no three cards that i'm missing to complete jamin's album photo cards this is resonance part one um, all of the normal album cards, and then these are the Kinos. I finished the Residence Part 1 Kinos. Can you believe it? These Jamins were expensive and a little bit of a struggle, but we got there. Um, and I just need this Departure Kino for Part 2. 
Um, that's the second of the three Jamin cards that I need to finish his album card collection. So, um, but this is the departure version. Got the normal album cards, the IDs and the Kinos, and then the arrival version, the album cards, IDs, and then Kinos. I'm just missing Johnny's. I think this is the only Johnny card that I'm missing besides his fact check and be there for me cards. This is Universe. They didn't go crazy for Universe, thank God. So this was like easy-ish for me to collect. And then Golden Age. I'm struggling with what I want to do for Golden Age. This layout might change soon, just depending on what I can figure out. But for now, I have the archiving versions, the yearbook cards, a pob set, which right now I think is going to be the target card because I have this Jamin target card. And then this is the collecting version. I do have this Jamin, but he's too hard to get down. So you're going to have to believe me that I have this Jamin. Fine, I'll get him down. I was scared that no one would believe me, so I took him down. But <laughs> here's this card. I have all of the collecting versions done. Um, and then this is where the transport cards are going. And then my plan was to do another pop set, but I'm going to be doing rearranging sometime soon because I don't think I'm going to actually commit to doing like what I have written down here. And then the rest of these pages are a bunch of like extra cards. So I have a bunch of extra Chunla and Jisung cards because Chunla and Jisung are like my fourth and fifth biases in 127. Nope. <laughs> in NCT. So um, I've like had extra cards from them before but then I also like bought a bunch of sets on Mercari for these two guys so I have like they each have their own like dedicated page for like extra cards and stuff so this is my Chunla page this is my Jisung page it's nothing crazy but like I had I felt like enough cards for each of them to have them have their own page um a lot of hot sauce for Jisung but anyway um and then the rest of this is just every other member that I have an extra card for that I want to keep so <laughs> whether it be because they're like one of my biases or because I think the card is really cute um it just depends um, this is a card that I have. Here he is. Shalala Taeyang. I think this is Apple Music Pop. Late, low, late, low, late, low. More extra cards. I've been trying to keep more um like top three stuff. I guess just this Yang Yang because I want to collect, like I said, top three for Wavy. So might as well keep, you know, pulls that I get and stuff. Um, that's everything for NCT. This is my Rise collection. This Rise collection will be changing very shortly. Right now I just collect Shitaro. Um, he was my like Sungtaro bias, I guess, <laughs> when they were in NCT still. I was so excited for him to debut. I was like so ready for them to like throw him in a unit. The NCT universe stuff had me so excited, but um, as you know, they put them in a new SM boy group, Rise, and I love Rise. And I know I made the joke earlier that um rise was just an extension of nct but that's just how i like got into rise was because shitaro and sung chan and then also sung han and unsuk from the nct universe show <laughs> were in rise so that's why i started getting into them but like i genuinely like them as a group it's not just because of shitaro and sung chan in fact sung chan's not even my second bias my second bias is unsuk and i am going to be collecting unsuk sometime soon i still need to figure out like how i want to lay it out whether i want to keep them in this binder or not um for now, I just have these two Shitaro album cards. I have these pods. This is K-Town. This is Apple Music. And then I have these two extra cards. So this is Unsuck, like I said. I'm going to collect him. So obviously I had to keep him. And then I also kept this Stohi. Um, I just think it's a really cute card. I don't know if he's my third bias or not. I think it's between him, Wanbin, or Sungchan. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to collect my top three. All I know for sure is I'm collecting my top two, which are these two. We'll see what happens with this collection in the future. It's really lame and boring and like so many fillers on all these pages, but that's fine. It'll hopefully by this time next year, it'll be more like filled out and like full and I actually know what I'm doing with myself. And that goes for everything in this binder. This binder is a hot mess, <sighs> but that's NCT. The last and final group that I have today is twice. I have five different twice binders. I'm gonna do my best to not dally and get through these as fast as I can. First things first. This is a La Seraphim <laughs> cover, but don't be deceived, nay nay. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my twice pre-order cards. I used to keep them in my like twice misc binder, but there's no room in there anymore. So, um, I threw them in this like extra one inch binder that I had. I have a couple random sets. Like I have this feel special set and this eyes wide open set. Um, these were both given to me by my friend um, because the first actual like albums that I bought 
for my twice collection were taste of love so i have all of the pre-order cards from taste of love forward i'm just going to really quickly flip through these i'm sure you've seen these billions and millions of times so there's really no need for me to like go into depth but um yeah like i said it's all of the pre-order cards from taste of love all the way through ready to be and then at the very end i have all of the group cards and i put them in eight pockets because i thought that it showed off the cards better since they were horizontal so yeah that's everything for this binder super quick super easy now i'm gonna do my album card binder this is the main twice binder that i'm sure if you watch my storing videos you might be familiar with because this is the main one that i pull out when i'm storing um, photo cards this houses all of my um, album photo cards from the story begins all the way through formula of love in case you don't know I collect Nyan Sana and Daihyun because my biases at the time <laughs> were Nyan Sana and Daihyun. My bias has changed from Daihyun to Mina. So um, I think in the new year, it's the new year already, it's January 15th. What am I talking about? But I think <laughs> my goal for this year is going to be to try to switch out my Daihyuns for Minas. I don't know when I'm going to start that process. It's going to be kind of sad because I'm so close to finishing my top three and i'm just gonna immediately go and like <laughs> switch it but um i'm missing this daihyun <laughs> this baby card which isn't the end of the world because i'm gonna be switching out my collection anyway but yeah there's gonna be a couple like daihyun cards like this one for example that i'm gonna keep i think i might collect twice coaster lane one ot9 we're gonna see i just want to keep the bunny daihyun um i'm gonna try my best to just trade all of my daihyuns for nina's obviously that's not gonna be like the easiest thing in the world because it's not like there's someone else out there with like a almost complete Mina collection who wants to trade for an almost complete Daihyun collection, although that would be nice. <laughs> it's not realistic, so I'm just gonna see what I can do. It might be fun though, because I'm since I'm almost done with twice, like I've had less and less cards every single storing video, but once I start collecting Mina, it'll give me like more cards to have to look for. But yeah, I've kind of I've been talking over all these pages, but I'm sure you get the gist. I just collect top three for all of these. Um I do collect OT9 sets for certain albums. It's not a foreign concept, I'm sure if you watch a bunch of Twice collectors, um, a lot of people do that, where they'll collect OT9 sets to help with like their layouts, especially for the albums that don't have an even amount of cards. I collected one too many OT9 sets for this album, which is why there's uh, an empty row there. But yeah, I have three OT9 sets for Summer Nights. And we'll see if I end up keeping that, because I bought that OT9 set back when I thought I was going to collect OT9. But now that I'm not, I might get rid of this OT9 set and just keep my top three. We'll see. I haven't figured it out yet. But this is Yes or Yes. This was one of the first albums I ever completed. Uh, well, <laughs> except for the OT9 set. But um, And then Year of Yes. Just missing four of these. And Fancy You. Like, I might keep the Ring Pop Daikon as well. I don't know. I just feel like I need to hang on to it for some reason. I hope people aren't disappointed by my decision for my own collection. Is this in the frame? Ah! Okay, we're fine though. To switch out my Daihyuns for Minas. Um, I have nothing against Daihyun, just to be clear. Um, it's just that my biases have changed and I feel like I want my collections to reflect like my bias line and stuff. Not that it matters that much. It would just be nice though. Um, in fact, I've also thought about collecting like my top four in Twice. I just don't know how I would lay that out because I want to collect, oops, that's not Chewy. That's not Chewy. I want to collect Chewy. She's my fourth bias. But I don't want to move them to an A5 binder because there's so many cards that would actually be crazy. Um, and I don't know if I would like to have them in like a, you know, like an 8 pattern. So, I don't know. Um, from Taste of Love forward, I am collecting OT9. I decided that I would do um, OT9 starting from the era that I got into Twice, which was Taste of Love. That was my first comeback with Twice. So uh, I have Taste of Love complete, and I'm working on a Formula of Love right now um, to finish OT9. Once I uh, finish Formula of Love, then all of the eras from Taste of Love through Ready to Be, which is the most recent comeback as of the time that I'm filming this, um, will be OT9 finished. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still missing uh, a couple cards for Formula of Love. It's not crazy, but like two per page. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I want to try to finish this soon. Uh, my goal was going to be before their next Korean comeback, but that's actually like 
soon, <laughs> like soon, soon. So I don't think that's gonna um, happen. But that's everything from The Story Begins through Formula of Love. Um, and then I have this binder, which has between one and two through ready to be. And then it should also hopefully have enough room for whatever the new album's called. I know the pre-releases I got you, but whatever the new one is called, but yeah. So this was the first album that I collected OT9 for right after the album came out because Taste of Love, I back collected. For Me Love Love, obviously I'm back collecting. Um, but this album I collected, like that was my plan going into collecting between one and two was OT9. And then I decided to do the same thing for Ready To Be. And I do intend on doing the same thing for their new album that's coming out like so soon actually like I'm not ready for it to come out and I'm really excited because I think the concept is going to be way better than ready to be no offense to ready to be I just wasn't a huge fan especially of the two concept didn't love this love the moonlight sunrise concept though I'm not gonna lie um but yeah these are all done these have been done for a while I don't know what this <laughs> page is doing back here but yeah so that's just two arrows uh, I feel like you don't get to see that binder a lot because once I finish the album like there's no reason for me to ever pull it back out again um this is my extra twice binder so it's a bunch of extra cards um these are a bunch of like extra album cards that I have that I wanted to keep whether it was because I wanted to keep them in case I was going to collect them OT9 or I just thought the cards were cute um, there's a little bit of both in here. Um, this is also where I keep all of my units. I don't really collect units, but usually when I pull a unit, I'll keep it unless I already like have a dupe of it. Um, I have some non-album cards in here. So this is the OT9 set that came with their season's greetings from last year. And then I collected the icon from last year, back when Daihyun was still my third bias. So I have my Ansana and Daihyun in here. Um, and they're just in like these random <laughs> pages, like whatever I thought looked the best. Um, this is the Candy Bong with Moo pre-order set because I bought the new Candy Bong Infinity for my Twice concert that happened last July. And then I also bought a bunch of trading card packs and I wanted to complete my top three, but that hasn't happened yet. I also have this uh, sauna from the Third World Tour that's just in here. But I need these two cards still to complete um, my top three. I'm kind of getting <laughs> worried because it's been a while, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can still do it. Um, here's more trading cards. The rest of everything that's in here is a bunch of big inclusions. I'm not going to go through them because I decided I don't want to do big inclusions in this video. I know personally that I don't really care about big inclusions that much when it comes to like collection videos. So um, I'm going to skip inclusions, not just for Twice, but for every other group. The very last binder is this A5 binder for Twice. This um, has the solos. So Nyan and Jiho solo, as well as Pobs for my top two, which are Nyan and Sana. So to start off with, we have the solos. I do have Nyan Complete for Pop. Um, this used to be in my A4 binder for Twice, but I decided since both Nyan and Jiho's collections worked so well in like a four page layout or four pocket layout, um, it really only made sense to do it in an A5 binder and I think I know there's speculations that Momo is gonna have her own solo I think if slash when she does I might have a separate A5 binder for solos and then a separate A5 binder for pobs because also since there's a new uh, comeback happening that means more pobs that I'm gonna be collecting for my top two which means that this is not gonna be able to share like these two uh, collections are not gonna be able to share a binder anymore. So yeah, again, I'm just gonna flip through these. These were all Nyan's uh, solo. This is between one and two. If you have a question about where a certain card is from, leave it in the comments and I will answer. <laughs> um, I just feel like there's no time to sit and like name every shop. I feel like you're mostly just here to look at the cards anyway, so. I really love the Digipack concept. Pobs way more than the normal ones, but yeah. Um, that's everything that I have. I want to collect more, and then obviously I want to collect their new comeback. They opened for, I think, a lot more shops this time than they did for their last era, which makes me nervous. But, you know, this is my own collection. I don't have to collect everything. I'm just going to collect what I want. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video, my binder slipping. Where is she going? Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope it wasn't super duper long. Um, If it was, I hope you enjoyed. I know some people like longer videos. So depending on how much my collection changes in the next six months, I might do a six month update. But it really just depends. 
Uh, comment down below your collection goals for 2024. I think I kind of briefly talked about mine in this video, but I basically just want to catch up on a bunch of collections. Uh, we'll see what I end up doing. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone has a great 2024. I will see you guys next time. Bye!